Uh, problem four of the CST release test questions for geometry theorem. A triangle has at most one obtuse angle. Eduardo is proving the theorem above by contradiction. Okay, uh, important. Uh, that means that he's going to try and prove it true by assuming that it's false and then arriving at a contradiction. So, um, he began by assuming that in triangle ABC, angle A and angle B are both obtuse. Which theorem will Eduardo use to reach a contradiction? Okay, on uh, problem A here, uh, if two angles of a triangle are equal, the sides opposite the angles are equal. Um, you know, this is a true statement. Uh, it doesn't necessarily help us with our problem, though where we're trying to f arrive at a contradiction. Uh, in other words, he's assuming that a triangle has more than one obtuse angle. Uh, and uh, this isn't really going to help us out. This tells us about how the sides relate to the angles, but um, that's about it. It doesn't help us with dealing with two obtuse angles in a triangle. Here, uh, B, if two supplementary angles are equal, the angles each measure 90 degrees. Okay, that is a true statement. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but again, uh, its usefulness in helping us arrive at a contradiction is, uh, is limited uh, at best. Um, we need something that will lead us to a contradiction if we're assuming that a triangle has more than one obtuse angle or a triangle can have more than one obtuse angle. Um, looking at C here, uh, the largest angle in a triangle is opposite the longest side. Um, okay, again, another useful um, uh, observation in geometry, but uh, it's not going to help us arrive at a contradiction regarding the uh, having two obtuse angles in a triangle. And finally, D, uh, the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now this one here, that's what we're talking about. That one will uh, will use this definition, and by using that, we'll arrive at a contradiction. Because if we have two obtuse angles, so I'll just put OB angle, we know that obtuse means it measures greater than 90 degrees. Okay, if we have another obtuse angle, uh, that measures also greater than 90 degrees. So if we add them together, their measure then should be greater than 180 degrees. So that's for two obtuse angles. Okay, but if we look at this statement here, this is a true statement. The sum of the measures of the uh, of a triangle is 180 degrees. So there's no way that a triangle could then have two obtuse angles because those two obtuse angles would total more than 180 degrees and we haven't even included the third angle in the triangle. So uh, Eduardo must have used D to, um, uh, well I'm sorry, D is the theorem that will uh, Eduardo will use to reach a contradiction.